Hi, my name is John from Premier Paint and Wallpaper, and today we're taking a video on how to clean the deck before it's going to be stained. So here we have the different supplies that we're going to need to uh, clean the deck. What we have is a, a scrub brush, an extension pole, some TSP and bleach to make your own mixture, a, or the pre-made, our favorite is the Olympic deck cleaner, and then a way to apply it. Um, we have a pump spray, it's usually the easiest, but a, a sponge or a brush, any way to get it on. Then either a pressure washer as we brought today, or a garden hose with a gun on it. So with this deck, this deck was built about a year and a half ago, and it was a pressure treated deck. So the first thing to do is do a splash test to make sure that the, uh, enough of the treatment has been cooked out by the sun. So, it can, so the stain can soak into it. What happens is if there's too much treatment still left in the wood, the stain can't soak in. So the splash test is you just pour some water on there and it should almost start to soak in immediately or at least within uh, 30 seconds. So then you know that the wood is absorbent enough to, to take the stain. If you look over here by the house um, where it's underneath an overhang and doesn't get as much uh, weather, if you pour it on and you'll see it just beads and sits on top of the surface that means it's too would be too soon to do this area but it's tough because 90 percent of the deck has been weathered exposed and now that it's starting to turn gray the gray wood means that it's uh the wood's starting to dry out and gray is dead wood cells so we gotta clean and remove the, de the dead wood before we, we stain it what i was originally talking about was you can either make your own at home this is the tried and true method the method we had talked about for 20 years of using about four ounces of TSP. In Wisconsin we have a phosphate free mixture but most of the country has the, the true trisodium phosphate. We use about four ounces of TSP to one quart of liquid bleach. This is the cheap bleach, the about $3.99 bleach you use it for. Nowadays most bleaches are going to be the concentrated bleaches for the high efficiency washing machines and so you use about half a quart then and then um, three quarts of warm water. The warm water will help the TSP uh, crystals dissolve better and uh, what the TSP will do, this is your every heavy duty all purpose cleaner. So this is going to remove the dirt, the grease, the grime that's built up over time and the bleach is going to kill any mold or mildew spores. The pros and cons of every system putting bleach on the wood cells and damaging wood cells but we like it because it kills the mold and the mildew best. And so that's why this way it works. It may damage a little bit of the fibers, but it helps soak in and take it better. Up until about a couple years ago, we said, Amy, make your own at home. It's as good, if not better, than most of the stuff on the shelf. Um, but until we came across the Olympic deck cleaner. We're selling tons of it because that's what Trek recommends for their warranty to, to uh, keep it up to be clean. And what this does is it actually kind of soaks in and pulls the dirt and stuff out of it. So we decided to give it a try on Phil's deck and couldn't believe how well it is. So what's nice is it's pre-mixed. You don't have to dilute it or anything. But this costs like, uh, you know, the bleach costs about $3.99. The TSP is maybe $4.99. You can make about a uh, four gallon mixture of it. But this is a gallon and it's about $12 a gallon. But it works that much better. So that's what we're going to be using today. So the easiest way of doing it is to just put it in a uh, garden pump sprayer. So like I said, that this is undiluted. So all you have to do is just pour it right in. What also this says, the Olympic one says there's no scrubbing required and you don't have to scrub it to clean it. But what we like is to still scrub some darker problem areas you can see on the deck that there is some green spots, you know, that's some algae, some mold, mildew growth, and so we're going to kind of agitate it just to clean the surface up a little bit better, really. It's only going to help, help it work better, but according to the Olympic, you don't have to do it. Um, one thing that you may want to do before, uh, before starting, but you don't have to because it's a biodegradable solution, is you may want to water your siding or your grass around before and after. What happens is when you water it, uh, you, you obviously put a protective coat on it, and then if you do overspray or get stuff on it, uh, when you wash it off, it's so diluted that it won't affect the plants or, or uh, grass or your siding. 
So I'm gonna water down the siding just to make sure we don't leave any bleach spots or anything. But what happens if you get on the siding, it actually just cleans your siding. It's not gonna damage it, it's just gonna clean it. Um, so we're gonna take a break right now to water it, water everything down. We've got the little grass and everything watered down. Building up the pressure inside the sprayer. And all we have to do is just mist a coat over the whole deck. I'd rather oversaturate everything to make sure it's nice and clean than put it on too, too light and have to do it twice. So what we're doing, just get a bleach and water mixture, spraying down everything that we can. And then we're gonna be going back and scrubbing it down. So what I'm really letting you do is finish up the 15 minutes of drying. What I forgot to mention is some companies want you to pre-wet the deck before you clean it, either with the bleach and water mixture or, or with the solution. We don't really recommend it because then you're just diluting your mixture. Um, what you'll also see on here is in our pressure washer, it does have a soap intake valve if you want to mix soap into it. But what happens is that the ratio is so low, of it's mostly water to... Uh, um, to the, the cleaning solution, it's so diluted by the time it gets on, where you want to make sure you put on a full cleaning solution so it can do its job best. But also, we kind of started mentioning was you can either use a pressure washer or a garden hose with gun. Pressure washer is just going to uh, make the cleaning go a little bit faster because it's throwing so, so much extra pressure into it, but we're only going to use it on the lowest setting. The only reason why we're using a pressure washer is just to clean it out faster. We're not trying to strip the deck, we're not wanting to put any gouges or, or damage the wood anyway. Only thing we're doing here is just making sure it's nice and rinsed off. If you don't have access to a power, power washer, a garden hose with a gun will work okay. But the biggest thing is just to make sure it's rinsed off. If it's not rinsed off, you can start to get whitish hazes, it can burn it, it can do everything. So uh, power washer just on the lowest setting to make sure it uh, is all completely rinsed off. see we got the deck nice and clean sometimes with residential houses they don't have enough water pressure on so you might have noticed we were having some trouble keeping the pressure up in our power washer that was happening in our video but now that we got it all clean we want to give it at least two good drying days 48 hours of the sunlight airflow movement because we threw so much water at the wood we got to make sure that uh, all the water is out so again the stain can soak in. As you can notice the most important thing is making the stain soak into the wood so it doesn't sit on the surface and peel on the plate. Um, this whole cleaning process is even good to do about once a year just to stay on top of it so the mold mildew doesn't take off. Um, you may not notice them but there may be microscopic spores and then they kind of grow and grow and then take off and the whole deck looks green. Cleaning it once a year, taking a weekend, taking 15 minutes, half an hour to do it, it's just only going to also make the, make the deck stain last longer. Um, so we'll come back and check in after at least uh, two good drying days. So let's say uh, in two days it starts raining again, well your two days starts over. So we can't have moisture in the wood when we're going to stain it. So check back next time. <laughs>